You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, full mouth reconstruction or extreme smile makeovers. With us, we have Florida's go-to prosthodontist when you want a beautiful smile. With us, we have Dr. Macedo. Dr. Macedo, welcome to the program. Well, thank you so much for having me here. I'm excited, actually. A little bit nervous even okay, to good. be here, so thank you. Good, good. Now, I know you brought some photos, so we'll get to as many of those as we can, but for people that don't know what a prosthodontist does and what you do, who's the typical patient? Like, what kind of conditions, what kind of dental problems do you see on a, like, a regular basis? Yeah, I mean, uh, our typical patients are uh, denture wearers. That's a good group of people. Denture they, wearers, okay. Yes, they, they've been wearing for a few months to up to 30, 50 years even. Okay. And they're tired of, of having the dentures because as you know uh, they wear uh, adhesive and if you drink a little bit of warm drink or, or food that adhesive melts in your mouth you okay. don't know that I didn't but know that. those patients they even have that taste after taste after they drink or eat warm food so okay. they want to get rid of the dentures uh, and most of them don't even know the possibilities right okay. they go for a new a reline maybe and paying that much and they're not happy about it so they want to try to figure out a more permanent way if you will so for those people we're able to provide them with implants and give them uh, stable teeth that does not come out like a want. brand new set of teeth a brand new set of teeth nice and super stable okay good and uh, so you know we had you on the program talking about full mouth reconstruction as a prosthodontist I guess the general dentist the periodontist the oral surgeon they send the very complex, like when you have to rebuild a whole mouth, this is kind of like what you do, is Absol that right? As absolutely, a absolutely. And we have a, a, such a great reputation in the community that people or general dentists or surgeons, periodontists, they send patients to us literally on a daily basis to help them out. Either they, it's too much for a general dentist to handle or it's a very complicated uh, situation that we can, we're trained by nature to to handle those cases all those things uh and i'm sorry and in a matter of fact i coach uh I, and i feel like it's part of my obligation as a specialist to coach and help uh general dentists uh to help their 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 own so patients. you have this so, like concept where you do everything right there correct like all under one roof even though you work with general dentists and the other specialists in town correct yeah yeah so we're here to help the patients right uh we have great uh, reputation so we work a lot with other dentists uh, as a specialist that's my duty but okay. we do a lot of cases on ourselves so if you come to the office and you need the care we'll be able to provide you for sure you, you do it right there okay good yeah. now you brought photos so what are we looking at here these well, are these full mouth reconstructions we have we have several so hopefully we'll be able to 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 address them all this this case Ruth she was phobic extremely phobic about dental just afraid about of the dentist. dentistry, uh, okay. completely, and that's you see some of the, the 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 issues that you know compound over the years. And she was going for cleaning, but she didn't really want to address anything about it. Okay. And if you look at her smile, uh, there's a lot of little things that doesn't make it as. So she didn't like the appearance of her smile. No, she didn't like the appearance. She had uh, cavities. She had some gum problems, infections, and whatnot. So she had. A little bit of everything all right okay and you will see whenever we put her on when you see the end result it's a completely different person in my opinion and I will ask you okay that. so I don't okay. want to judge because I did the work so I don't want to take the full credit okay we, we say that we help them achieve their full potential by their smile okay right? so she was a person that didn't like to smile and you see on the before she is, has a really awkward smile like, like she's just kind of showing her teeth yeah she's like <laughs> Okay. that all right, all right so uh and we did a little bit of everything as i mentioned so we fixed her gums we did veneers we did crowns okay uh we saved all her teeth but one because that was a little bit way beyond repair okay uh so yeah take a look at her after i mean it's amazing how looks nice thank you how her smile blends to her face very natural beautiful smile okay she still practicing this to smile because, what do you mean by that well she was never comfortable smiling before she was never really you know confident in her smile and trust me she's a high executive 
Is it, she's not like a, you know, a, a person that you find on the streets. Okay, so she's well educated, extremely good at what she does, but her previous photo doesn't really show that much. Okay, in my opinion, would you agree? Yes. You know, one of the things you said to me in the green room was they become more attractive when you give them more, better teeth, and it's so true on this. You know, I mean, it's a little prettier. It's I, nice. I agree. More sophisticated. Yeah. She has makeup now. She, the hair is different. Um, I don't know if I can say that, but she got in trouble with her family. Okay. Because they did not understand what she was going through emotionally uh, with their self-confidence, self-image. So she got in trouble with her family. I know because she would say, hey, doc, you cannot believe this got to be my dream smile because... I'm in trouble with my family because I'm spend, I'm investing this kind of money. And that's how we call. We, we say that we invest in yourself. That's the, the Okay, that's a good way to put it. So, but yeah, and she, she's one of our biggest uh, ambassadors. You say when they see their face in the mirror for the first time, some people get emotional. Oh, there's most because we can do it in such a fashion that they don't even see the transition. Sometimes we do it in a couple of visits. Even the first visit, from the first visit, when they go from the before to the temporaries, sometimes they already are, they can't believe how much technology, skill, passion, and artistic can do uh, to themselves. Now, can somebody be too far gone? Like they're, you know, they have uh, gum disease, like, you know, bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth. You could still. We could still do something about it. That's the truth. Depends what you mean by too far gone, right? It's sometimes we cannot save all their teeth, but we try to okay. if we have a long-term prognosis. I'm not going to recommend you something that I know from experience that's going to last a couple of years. That's okay. not what we want. By okay. the way, we guarantee in writing our work. That's how confident okay. we are on what we do. So we're so good at it, we believe, that we guarantee in writing. Now you told me something that I, I, I look, we've been doing this show for 20 years, but you told me on the, on the, in the green room, you said, people don't need teeth. They but then you had a, a, a speech that went with that. So tell me what you mean by that. So, and, and, and we try to understand, we, we take the time to listen to your concerns, your wants, your needs, right? But do you really need teeth? People, uh, the patients ask me, do I really need to do that? And the answer is, for the most part, no, you don't. You probably know somebody in your family, they're successful, but they have no teeth. They work with dentures. They're still productive, healthy human beings, right? Okay, okay. So, but a lot of the times they don't want it. So most of the people don't want to have their teeth in the jar overnight, you know, what they, they resemble about their grandparents or whatnot. So they want to save their teeth. And that's when we do our best we can. So we are uh, excel in those things, actually. So you give options to people. Absolutely. I mean, we're here to help you. We're here to present you the options. We're not a cookie cutter uh, machine that will provide the same treatment over and over again. And you'll see throughout the pictures that, we, that I brought here today that we can, the, the smiles are custom made to your wants, to your face, to your skin, to your hair, to your personality. How much art and how much science? Like when you take somebody with a broken down mouth and now you give them a brand new set of teeth, mm -hmm. you know, with veneers or crowns or whatever, how much is art, how much is science? Science is the first step you need to have. That's the foundation, right? Without science, you can do nothing. Okay. So you have to go to dental school to learn that science. Yeah, you yeah. gotta study, you gotta go to whatever. So you need to have that foundation. But the science alone will give you so far, will take you so far. That's why you just have one Picasso. That's why you just have one Tom Brady, okay. right? So that's why you have one Macedo, okay, in dentistry. Okay. <laughs> so I don't want to brag too much, but like it's Like 70% true. art? I would say the majority is art, and that's a hard- You have to have an eye for this. Yeah, it's a hard skill to, 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 to learn. You gotta know, you have to have a, 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 a trained eye because you can be seeing the same thing over and over again and overlooking the details, the minutes that will make a average smile, that will differentiate an average smile to a good smile to an outstanding smile. That's the difference. That's the art that, it's, that, makes, that, that makes it or break it, in my opinion. Yeah, because I told you, I feel like I could spot fake teeth walking down the street. And you yeah. said, no, not my patients. No. If, and, that, and that's a true story. And I tell my patients, if... If somebody compliments on your, on your like veneers or on whatever, your veneers, you say, "Hey, what a beautiful denture you have! Come back, I remake it." 
because that's not what I want. I want to mimic nature. I want to okay. make sure your new smile fits your face, fits everything about you. Normally, the, what we hear from our patients, like I hang out with my friends and they look at me and say, what did you do with your hair? You look different. Like after you give them the smile, right? full and mouth reconstruction. Correct. And people then, can't pinpoint what's changed about them. They can't. Really? And that's the best compliment for me. And that we explain that to the patient. They're gonna we explain that to the patient because they're gonna say, because a lot of the times they expect people are gonna say, oh, your beautiful smile, whatever. whatever. No, they're gonna say, well, you look different. Did you lose weight really, or whatever? Something. That's, take that as a compliment to your smile. Okay, good, so, good. More photos, what more else do you photos. have? This is a very um, cool patient. Uh, I finished this work. Does he have no teeth? No, he does have all his teeth. He even has one baby tooth, uh, but all his teeth is in there. But you smile, he's smiling, and you don't see a single tooth. So you can tell, it's like, oh my God, what's going on with this dude, right? Okay. But, can I say dude? Yes, yes. Okay, fine, because I say that all the time. Um, but yeah, but that's one, one case. He flew, he used to fly, now he's done five hours to come to, to my office. And I was like, when we're interviewing ourselves, because they interview us, right, to see if we're a good fit for them. And I was like, where are you from? I said, well, I'm from there. I was like, oh, cool. Like where? Well, he's from Alaska, okay. by the way. So, but I wasn't, I was living in Oregon by, when I did the work. So it's five hours. And I didn't understand. He just flew from Alaska. I thought that he was from Alaska. And I was like, okay, so but where you live? I said, no, 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 I just flew in last night. I got it. I was like, so what are you doing here? So said, no, I came for you. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. That's a big compliment, but why did you do the work there? I was like, I've been to five different dentists. Nobody wants to take me. I was like, why is that? Um, and he goes, because I'm too complicated. I was like, what do you think I'll take Okay, you? so this guy is smiling with his, his teeth don't even show. Right. He looks like he might be wearing dentures or no teeth at all. Right. And so when you peel back that, I mean, does he have a bunch of stuff going on over there? Like, he had a, a lot of wear, a lot of wear. So his teeth was very shortened uh, due to other issues like sleep apnea. So we, when we see those situations, we, we, we try to relate to something else. It's okay. not, we do not just look at one single thing. Uh, so it's a comprehensive approach. It's not just, oh, you have a broken tooth, we fix your tooth. Why you broke the tooth in the first place? That's okay. our approach. So we step back a little bit, look in a bigger scope to understand the reasons, right? Okay. So he flew in, uh, in a way, a lot of pressure because whatever I'm doing, it's, it's gonna be major because we're doing his entire mouth, right? So a lot of wear, broken down teeth, um, uh, darkened teeth, even though it's not showing, but that's what he would, you'll see. Okay. Um, so whatever I do needs to make sure it's efficient and it will last because he's flying five hours fly, back. Yeah. So imagine if something happens, how are he gonna fix? He needs to fly back to re-cement the temporary. So you get a lot of pressure on you to get it right done the first time. And the, exactly, and that's, that's when I drive, I feel like, under pressure, under those situations. I think I've been trained like that or my nature, I don't know, but that was the case. Take a look at his end photo. We did a full mouth reconstruction. Look at his smile. He's now have teeth to show. Uh, he looks he did, better. He looks a lot better. I, I gotta agree with you. It even looks like he lost some weight. Now he, I would say he even looks healthier to me. I don't know if you agree or not, but that would be my-, my Yeah, yeah. It does change the way you look at a guy. We've had this discussion. You say that people with bad teeth are judged. Like exactly. maybe they're poor, they don't brush their yeah. teeth. Yeah. And you say you don't look at it that way. No, I, I don't. Elaborate on that. I don't because that's, that's the perception. That's the, the prejudgment that we give. And, and Hollywood TV, they even push that prejudgment because if you want to look bad or a villain, if you like, put dark teeth, make them sharp, make them misalign, you're gonna have that perception. And that's what you will in a way prejudge when you see those okay. those those patients or those those people on the street. If they smile, by the way. Because uh, most of them don't smile. Yeah, no, because they're embarrassed, they're ashamed, so they just try to keep it low. So a big tough guy like this gets this done. How does he what does he do when he sees it? Oh my god, he can't believe it. Again, we, we became friends. He okay. invited me to go to Anchorage. I think Anchorage or in Alaska. I don't know if it's still there. His eight 
CEO of a big oil company up there. So this is a super smart guy, incredible human being, uh, great photographer, by the way. So those are things that motivates me. We're going to take a quick break. We come back. Uh, we'll try to get to a, a few more of those photos. And I've got questions about the process, what uh, takes place in your office. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. My upper bridge failed. I visited with Dr. Roberto Macedo in his office. He told me he could build me another one of those that was better than the one I had, but he had a better idea. He could do something permanent. It has been a wow experience. Food tastes better. I am completely satisfied with the service I got from Dr. Macedo and with the results that I have. Dr. Macedo took a really, really bad situation with my mouth and it was really bad. I knew and just really brought back a smile that was just incredible. And through all that process, he has brought back this wonderful smile that I have. Really changed my life because I love to smile. I love to talk to people. Now I don't have to like, you know, do a half smile or anything like that to cover up my teeth. So I certainly would recommend Dr. Macedo to anyone that really want to make a difference in, in their smile as well as in their life and just really be happy about the work that he's done. My smile is beautiful and he did everything he said he could do, absolutely everything. If you saw the teeth I had before, you would not believe that this is my smile. I hope everybody goes to him because it is the right choice. It was definitely the right choice for me, and you'll be very happy with doctor's work. You're watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, full mouth reconstruction, as Dr. Macedo calls it. He says that your teeth are never too bad to be able to repair and have the smile you've always wanted. With us, we have the go-to prosthodontist in Florida, Dr. Macedo. Dr. Macedo, welcome back to the program. You have more photos. Let's I do. take a look. I do. This is a, this is an extreme case, uh, and believe me, we see extreme cases every day. If okay. I don't see a extreme case, I think something is wrong okay. <laughs> because I don't see those simple cases, okay. right? Uh, as a specialist, so this is uh, Andy. Uh, he had a removable prosthesis, a denture plate, and he used to talk with his tongue to hold his denture. He used, used to use tons of ad adhesives. Uh, he couldn't laugh hard because the teeth falling apart. Oh, he, he was in misery, and he, was, he already tried to do the work elsewhere. So okay. he ended up in my office uh, after the protocol that we do, you know, a cosmetic protocol, functional protocol, etc. We came up with a plan, and that's the end result. So we nice, yeah. So the the gummy smile is gone. He he looks, in my opinion, cooler with the glasses. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He's eating anything, literally anything. When I say he can bite into a burger, and the pickles comes with the bite, which he couldn't do before. He couldn't do it. Like bites into a tomato and a salad, and it just the bun comes with it. So, okay. and, and probably you don't understand that. I see it, but I, you know, people who has bad teeth broken down or, or wear dentures, most of the times they can't really they eat the things. burgers or, 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 or Is this pizza. what they tell you? Oh, absolutely. You must hear a bunch of stories every day about what they can't eat. It's, it's, it's not funny, it's sad, but it's, you know. Do you ever get excited, like you're on a consult, they're telling you their hard luck story. Mm -hmm. And you're going, boy, this is going to be good. They don't even know how good it's going to be. I mean, I'm, I think from my experience, I always know it's going to be good. It's not like, oh, I have a home, home run here. No, all my cases when <laughs> they're all home, home runs. runs. So because I can't fail them. That's my, my obligation, I feel. So I do whatever it takes to give them what they want right under circumstances of course but we always always provide them what they want okay good you want to see one more yeah let's take a look at some more photos right. we're in a little bit of a time crunch so i'm going to rush you a little bit that's fine so okay that's kevin country boy super nice guy but missing teeth and he had those flippers we call you know the the, the flipper that flips in and out uh for over 10 years okay and he was in a way, okay with it. I think he was used to it. I don't know. 
his wife was tired okay. of seeing him struggling with the teeth. All right. It's just like, she was like, enough. So in this case, I need to thank her. So she drug him in the office. Literally, they both <laughs> patients and say, hey, Dr. Macedo, and they went together and, sh and he goes, you know, I want my car. He's big into vintage cars, okay? Uh, and I want to have my car. And, and the wife said, listen, you're going to do this and you get their car afterwards. I don't, it's okay. You can do both. Okay. This, he, can, he did not understand where we could give them, him okay. in this case. So he accepted, a few implants were placed. We saved basically all his teeth his chewing anything. Uh, he can bite into... You know, that looks uh, like a different guy. And you can see how, how it shapes to his face. Look at what this has done to his appearance. It's, to me, it's unbelievable. It's a life-changing experience. So when it's done, because this was a reluctant guy, his wife drags him in, mm -hmm. uh, does he say, you know what, I should have actually done this a long time ago? Yeah, after the fact, even on a temporary phase, Yes, absolutely. Every single time he, he comes to the office, now he's super diligent. He's, he, he, he does not miss his hygiene appointments. He's on it now. He owns it. <laughs> and, and yeah, I should have done it before. I was like, yeah, but I wasn't here 25 years ago. <laughs> so, but I'm here now, and I'm happy you did it with me. And that's, I mean. And most of these people, we should mention, they do oral sedation. You also offer IV sedation if needed. So most of these, most of these people are comfortably sedated. They don't. Oh. Absolutely, yeah, they, and most of them don't even remember the, 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 that they, they, they had the procedure done. They have like vague memory, if so. So it's, it's a no-brainer. Okay, okay. All right, one more? Yes. All right, so this is, this is uh, These are all full mouth reconstructions, okay. Correct. All right. She's, she's, uh, she's our manager, okay? Okay. She had her teeth. Yeah, but her teeth look pretty good well, it's before. True. It's true, but does it really matter what you think or what I think? It's they, what they think, what okay, they okay, really okay, want, okay. right? Okay, and, uh, and she had done the teeth, I think, twice in her life, and she never really liked it for some reason or another. And you can see it wasn't bad, but she was never pleased. And look at her now. I mean, it's, it's, it's a subtle changes. We brighten up her smile. We widen up her, you know, s smile. Uh, and now everything blends gorgeously. So in my opinion. So she is, runs the office, so she's the perfect example to tell patients to do this. Oh, absolutely. She's been seeing in a daily basis how much we can help her patients. And she asked me, please do my smile because I, I, I desperately need it. So we did it. All right, one more full mouth reconstruction. All right, all right. She's, a, she's an artist, uh, but phobic of dentists too. So we sedated her, we did veneers, crowns, implants, a little bit of everything, and now look how she... <laughs> Looks good. Very I, nice. I love it. That's a, another beautiful case. Uh, presentation. One more? Need yes, to do yes. it quick, quicker? I'll rush you because it looks like you have about three more left, so let's get through all of yeah. them. Yeah. So this all is right. Elsa, not the Frozen uh, movie, but she went to a tough situation on her marriage. Uh, she was taking care of her family, and her teeth were broken down, gum infection, uh, I mean, cavities, etc., and couldn't even eat right. Everything was kind of sensitive and hurting and okay. bleeding. So in few visits, we're able to change her entire Looks very nice. mouth. Yeah, and you can almost feel like it's a different person. She's a little, you know, that's her little way, I guess, of smiling to the camera, but yeah. Very nice. Time for a couple more photos. All right, so that's, that's our front desk, okay? So I'm showing my people. So what That's I That's a before and after. They both look like after photos. They're both good. Well, yes, she start and again, that goes to the same thing. She wasn't very pleased with her smile. She had some problems with the bite as well. Uh, and she sees the results just like my manager. So she asked me, "Can you help me out? I think I need to have something done." So then we did the smile. And you can see she Looks it good. was it wasn't bad, but now she has a in my opinion a wow smile. She's, okay. she has a Hollywood smile. Very nice. All right, one more. Ron, this guy, uh, Ron, super nice gentleman. He drives over two hours to come to the office. And he, uh, as you can see on the initial picture, is missing some teeth, uh, rampant decay, a lot of issues going on. 
uh, gum disease and he was recommended for a more oral surgeon. So with this guy, we did some, a combination of implants. So we took care of his gum, we did implants, crowns, and some veneers, and that's the result. So now he's pain free, gum healthy. Looking good. Looking good. He looks, he looks good. I can, I can, I can tell that. I mean, it's the last feels one. Good. Did you save the best one for last by any chance? Uh, <laughs> They're all good, you say. Okay, here we go. All right. Well, you can see you've probably forced him to smile on that before. Last but not least, but that's, that's uh, uh, again, an, another super nice gentleman, uh, like all my patients, by the way. But yeah, he can smile comfortably. He's like just pushing, forcing smile for us to see and understand what's his going on. He has his lower teeth done up in New York. Uh, and it's already kind of giving him some trouble, but the upper were, was breaking, bleeding, infection, tons of issues. Uh, that's another case we work with another surgeon. So we have a, an excellent relationship with the surgeons. And as you can see, we remade his smile and it's, it looks super natural. There's a little bit of a gum showing, but that fits his uh, appearance. Uh, his, and he's still learning on a smile. So I'm, I'm very pleased with his uh, pain-free situation. We are out of time. So final message, somebody watching this, and we're talking about full mouth reconstruction today, but if somebody's watching this, you know, like you mentioned, they have the bleeding gums, bad breath, loose teeth, they're, they're not quite ready for a full mouth of extractions, but for whatever reason, they're afraid, afraid of the dentist, putting it off. What do you say to them? They've heard what you had to say, but they're still putting it off. What do you say to them? If you're, for some reason, don't like your smile and you think that uh, lack of a confidence due to your smile is hindering your dating abilities, your work abilities, your pitching to, you know, service or product, there's no reason for you not to do your smile. Okay. It's possible, it's affordable, and it's part of our job is to make that happen for you and help you out in your life. We're not changing Good. your life, we're helping you through your smile to become more confident to achieve your own goals. Now, insurance, we have to mention this, Medicare, Medicaid, even the best insurance doesn't really cover this kind of work, right? Because they right. consider it cosmetic or right, something. Right, right. But you say people finance this. They're financing their procedures all the time, very common. Oh, absolutely. It's part of our job to make it affordable for you. And we can go anywhere you like. We, 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 have, we finance daily basis, in a daily basis. You have to have decent credit, I mean, because you're not carrying it yourself. Right, right, right. It's through a third party company, but we, we can do up to five years. So it's possible for you to do it. No more excuses. No, no more excuses. And they get to see you? Absolutely. Or you're too much of a big shot nowadays? No, no, no. I'm, you're <laughs> always going to see me and you're always going to have me designing your smile. So that's a guarantee. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Good All stuff. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 